<laughs> you were right. Okay, we're talking wine. Yes, yes. we are. And Not chocolate. Mm. Yes, and truffles. Mm -hmm. Hi, Kenny. Yes, we guys, not only are we talking wine, we're talking wine and chocolate. Oh, uh, why did your eyes just go, ooh, Woo! wine and chocolate and so much more food <laughs> tastings. I know, right? Um, well, this is an international, the Cleveland International Wine Festival, which is awesome. So we're, you're going to have an opportunity not only to uh, do a little wine and, and chocolate, mm -hmm. uh, food stations uh, in every different region of the, of the world. Yes. There'll be food stations complementing uh, the tastings, correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay, absolutely. Wendy, so uh, this is for those just joining us we just made truffles with our amazing yes. truffle lady yes. but you said uh, Kenny it, most people would go red you decided to go Chablis um, actually I did a, yeah I did a Chardonnay a Chardonnay a, 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 sorry. yeah a nice a nice uh, oak aged Chardonnay so it's got a little deep body flavor with it mm -hmm. so is it didn't fight with the chocolate it paired very nicely okay so see a little experimentation there exactly and you told me something about maple syrup but we'll talk about that later yeah, exactly. but, yeah, 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 but that's, that's, that's cool. another good thing that's all right another so, good thing. so um, what's our next pour um, so this is actually a Chianti from Italy Italy. Okay. Um, Chianti's back in the day got a bad rap. And Why? Um, they mass produced them and quality wasn't that good, but gotcha. that has since changed. Okay. Um, Chianti's are amazing wines. Um, they pair very well with almost any Italian food. They're kind of nice, medium bodied red okay. wine. So a so, yeah. good, but a good yet tasty, I would say everyday wine that Correct. You, could, for, you could have for dinner. Well, any wines. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, of course, of course. And then our rosé you poured, this is kind of unique. Mm -hmm. It's a Mencia, which is a unique grape, and that's part of this wine tasting is to come out and try wines that you probably can't pronounce, which is fine. Right. Um, but it's also wines that you know, most might not actually get the opportunity to try. And this so, is a drier it's, rosé, yep, so it's a sweeter. An, yes, it's Man, a nice dry. Is that a trend we're seeing, or has it always been there, we just no, ignored it? No, so actually rosés have really grown in popularity, not just in Cleveland, but you know, obviously all across the country. Yeah. Um, and it's, I call it the red wine, uh, or the summer wine for red wine drinkers, yeah. because you chill it, it's good, great poolside or on a patio. Mm. It's one of my favorites, go downtown, get a nice glass of rosé. Um, how much has the Cleveland wine scene changed in the past 10 years since we're talking about people now kind of switching their tastes? Yeah, so I mean the Cleveland wine scene has changed dramatically um, because we have more access to things, but also with the amount of wines that are produced here and the grapes that are grown here, um, that's really what's made a big change. So people are really focusing on trying different things and getting out more. Um, and then obviously the little local wine shops yeah. are, are becoming more, you know, having more tastings and um, getting people out and letting them try new things. Gotta so. love that. Tim, yep. thank you for hosting us. You'll be hosting this wine festival. Several hundred tickets have been sold, but there's room for more. Absolutely. We, uh, we're really excited to be a part of the event with Taste Clee. Come out to Lander Haven and see us. We're going to have a great event on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't been here in 10 years, come out and have a look at the, at the building and enjoy the space. And when we say uh, food tastings, you guys have a massive catering kitchen, so they're going to have yes, some tasty do. food too. Absolutely. We're going to have several stations representing different regions of the world. But we'll also have some grazing stations with just some cheese or some fruit so that you can kind of clear your palate as you go through and have a good time. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when does everything take place, Wendy? So, excuse me, it starts this Saturday at mm -hmm. 2 o'clock. So 2 to 5 are our classes. Okay. Uh, 5 to 6 is our VIP tasting. And then 6 o'clock is the grand tasting. All right. So. Sons of Wines. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Good yes, luck. Thank you. The Cleveland International Wine Festival. Thank you so much. And thank you to the Truffle Lady. Yay. Thank yeah. you for helping me make thank the truffles. You. All right. We're going to yeah. go back to you guys you in the studio.